The mother of a young cyclist killed by a garbage truck is calling for change. We told you about Brianna Powell last night, who was hit and killed while riding her bike home from work. Tonight, her mother sat down with Grace White to share her daughter's story. Grace? This mom says her daughter had just gotten her first apartment. She was working overnights at Hobby Airport and would always text her mom when she got home. But on this morning, she never made it. I'm like, what does it take for their family member to go through this? Because, I mean, how would they feel? This mother lost her 27-year-old daughter, Brianna Powell. I think he should face something like you, you took my child's life. But the driver of the garbage truck who hit Powell is not charged. He was questioned and released from the scene. This is the bike she was riding home on Saturday morning, October 8th. Houston police say the driver was stopped at a red light on Broadway in Morley. He turned right, hitting Powell, who was wearing a safety vest. You drive one of the biggest trucks, one of the most dangerous trucks. Why is there not more technology on it? Powell's family is filing a million dollar lawsuit against the truck's owner, Republic Waste Services of Texas. They claim the driver did not use his turn signal, so Powell would not have known he was going to cross her path. But according to the police report, the driver told police he did use his signal. KHU 11 reached out to the company, but a spokesperson told us they could not comment on pending litigation. She calls and texts us every morning, every night. Her sister says no one can replace her. In addition to working at the airport and traffic control, she worked at NRG and was planning to start a new security job at Minute Maid Park. They said she rode her bike every day, but the month she died, she was finally set to get her driver's license. They shouldn't wait till tragedy strikes to make change. It's just senseless to me. This mother just wants the truth about what happened. Grace White, KHOU, 11 News.